The state of Louisiana has memorialized the largest rebellion of enslaved people in U.S. history with a, a road sign. I'm glad that there is a sign that marks it, but I also think that to mark this most magnificent event with a sign in a, a traffic island, you know, by the side of a, a highway, that's crazy. Other people have tried to sort of mark this event, often focusing on the brutality and the suppression of, of the rebellion. And what I'm interested in is, is the, the, the liberatory aspects of the people who were fighting to free themselves. For me, being from born and raised in the Pacific Northwest, my whole experience in Louisiana has been learning more about my roots and about my, my family's experience before me, my ancestors. So just getting this opportunity here is really powerful for me. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a heavy equipment operator for the city and uh, I also work at Mid City Carriages in the evening and I ride horses. <laughs> That's the, story of my life. <laughs> this is going to be the most information I've ever had from the other end of it, you know what I'm saying? Because they teach you what they want you to know in history right. in school. So. Know this. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't know anything. I, I was interested in horses, and if I knew there were black people riding horses in the 1800s, I would have probably been a little bit more intrigued by it than what I actually was, being that I only knew black people were slaves in the 1800s, as far as the books that I read, you know what I'm saying? This is a, a, a new way in for people to look at this history and to say, well, here's what's really been suppressed and something that should be celebrated. This is something that people should be truly proud of. It could have changed U.S. and world history. Imagine if there were an African Republic in modern day Louisiana, but before westward expansion has really happened. So does Texas secede from Mexico? Does Los Angeles become part of California? Would enslaved people all over the rest of the lower south have decided, well, oh, we should rebel and escape there? So it is, you know, a hugely significant event in U.S. history, and the history has been buried. Acting, I'm having a whole experience with a bunch of other black people who have come to New Orleans for multiple different reasons to take part in this. Being around other black people carrying weapons, embodying the spirit of freedom and emancipation, I think that's that's really powerful. I imagine today will be very emotional, spiritual, as we are literally walking past oil refineries and strip malls and other locations that were previously sugar plantations. I know this may not be the appropriate time, but my family owns this land. I grew up here, my mother, my grandfather, and just from me, from my family and my ancestors who may have been a part of this, I just want to say thank y'all for what y'all are doing uh, because nothing like this has ever been done. So thank y'all very much. I appreciate it. Well, a lot of my artwork looks at how the past not only sets the stage for the present, but how it sort of exists in the present in new form. In the early 1800s, slavery was the foundation of the economy in Louisiana. In the 1900s, oil became the foundation of the world economy, but centered here. There's a reason why that region is known as Cancer Alley. And so these petrochemical plants were put down literally on top of the graves of enslaved people that had died in that region. If you look at the woodlands, which is where this rebellion started, is a poor neighborhood that people still living have memories of how their fathers or grandfathers worked in the fields. I mean, you can see quite literally the map of slavery right in that place. Those who wish 
wish to die free, rise with me! Yeah! I mean, just let's get along. Let it be. History is history. You can't remake history. A lot of us have nothing to do with that. Freedom or death! Freedom or death! Uh, I think it's a bunch of bull crap myself. I mean, we, we let them have what they want. They, they got their ways, they get their ways. Who do you mean they? Huh? Well, I mean the black folks. Has anybody ever said that you have racist views on this guy? Not to me personally, mm. really, but uh, I imagine they got a few of them probably that would. Perhaps the struggle for reparations or police, murder by police or, you know, the mass, mass incarceration. Those are all questions that both have its origins and roots in enslavement, but the people fighting to change that today are actually walking in the tradition of enslaved people who are fighting for freedom and emancipation. After you have lost a loved one to police state violence and murder, this is the life you live every single day, fighting for justice because you don't get it when the police murder your loved one. So all of that embodied this walk that we took. Freedom or death! 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 I feel like for myself, like that there's a stuck energy behind the slavery and the period and the history and us coming together to do this act is releasing energy and turning it into like a positive. These are the people that, that you, know, you know, fought and in some cases gave their lives so that others could be free. This is a project about rebellion, about freedom and emancipation, and really black people having agency with, with, within enslavement and frankly having the most radical ideas of freedom in the United States at the time. Freedom! Freedom! Freedom!